So I just recorded this video like a minute ago, but it was playing in fast motion, so I sounded like a little mouse, and I don't know why it would do that, but that was how it was recorded, so now I have to redo the video and try to say the same stuff that I said the first time, but it probably will sound stupider and more, I don't know, not as cool, but oh well, here we go. So in response to what you first said, Shelby, about Katie Stackoff playing Miss Marvel, I'm cool with that. I like that. That's cool. Starbuck as Miss Marvel, I can, I can see it. Uh, if I just imagine the, uh, the mask over her eyes and stuff like that, yeah, totally. She's, she's Miss Marvel. And it's a good casting decision because, yeah, she is a pretty unknown actress. She's known within the geek circles because, you know, uh, uh, she was she was Starbuck in Battlestar Galactica. Slightly well-known. But she's not well-known with the mainstream Hollywood audience. And I think that's a good thing. It's sort of like Marvel could pick two different sides of the same coin here. They could go with the well-known Hollywood talent that you would see in most any movie, name actors. Or they could pick the relatively unknown people, the, the people who, while of the same quality, I would say, the same quality of talent, they just don't have that big of a marquee name. And I think it's good that they pick these lesser known, but still quality talents. And also it saves Marvel a lot of money. Obviously, they like going that route. Katie Stackoff, I'm game. Uh, phase three, that's in a while, but hey. Now, jumping off of that into the thing that Vin Diesel recently said about the merging of brands, it probably does mean Guardians of the Galaxy crossing over with Avengers to, like, fight Thanos or whatever. It probably does mean that, but deep in my soul, I want to believe that he means that Fox and Sony and Marvel would be teaming up for a big crossover event. I know in my heart of hearts that this can't be. Deep within my true soul as a fan, I want it to be that Fox and Sony are bringing over X-Men and Spider-Man to the MCU somehow in order to fight a big galactic threat. I really want it to be that because then it could be something even greater under Fox's belt is the Fantastic Four. And the Fantastic Four have probably the best universe building tools with them. I mean, they have Galactus, they have Doctor Doom, they have Silver Surfer. And Sony, of course, just has Spider-Man, but I like Spider-Man the character. I'm not even necessarily a fan of the Amazing Spider-Man's direction. I mean, of course, you and I both haven't even seen it yet. But if Spider-Man was the crossover with the MCU, I would be in the seat for every Amazing Spider-Man movie henceforth. I would be on board. I don't have to like what they've done with it, but just the fact that Spider-Man's participating in these greater events, I'm game. I'm fine. You have my ticket, Sony. So you stand to gain at least me, maybe Shelby, and, and then bouncing off of that to talk about the DC controversy thing. Like Joe said in the comments, in which you saw and responded to, DC's just not necessarily against the same-sex marriage part, they're just against the overall marriage thing. Since when did DC become like anti-marriage? Uh, this is news to me. If they mean it like the way I'm sort of thinking, like as in they're against the marriage of two characters, I can understand where they're coming from in that regard because when two characters do like get married in a story like that, because I look at that as really sort of like low class storytelling, like it's really fanficy, fan shippy, obviously. I know that there's millions of people who eat that up. I'm not a big fan. I feel like it's sort of base level writing. It's it's not all that compelling. Admittedly they would be breaking some ground. It's already been broken a couple times. The same sex marriage thing in comics has been done a couple times, but it's not a bad thing if they just sort of remind people that this is a thing that occurs with human beings, so... But if the reason for DC's dislike of the marriage thing is because they think it's kind of fanfic -y, then I understand that, and I guess they should probably elaborate to their editing staff about 
their reason because they just left. So I, I don't know if DC cares about the people that they hired to make their product. But they should probably elaborate for them. I don't know, they're the boss, I guess. If they're just against marriage as a concept entirely, uh, okay. DC, wow, you're really taking a stance. But either way, tell your workers, because they think you guys are a bunch of raging homophobes, so. Uh, I don't really have much else to say, so I guess that'll just wrap this up. This episode of The Last Days of Video Responses, I, I guess this is now an episodic series. I have no clue, we're just kind of making it up as we go along. That's it, see you later, peace. I don't know.